Stronghold Tidarium. Transmit to the clearance code for shield passage. Hello there, subjects of the Empire. Our story can change many times before it is shown on the hollow screens. Ideas are introduced that never make it into the final product. Some of them are later revisited, altered, and introduced in different ways. Such as when it was revealed that Luke Skywalker has a previously unknown sister who is none other than Princess Leia Organa. The concept of Skywalker having a twin sister came about during story conferences and was even mentioned in the first draft for the series of events known as The Empire Strikes Back, told to Luke by the ghost of his father, not to be confused with Lord Darth Vader. In this early version, the elder Skywalker was the one who hid the twins in separate locations. In another part of the galaxy, Luke's sister was also learning the ways of the Force. Should Luke fail in his misguided attempts to destroy the Emperor's glorious regime, this long-lost sister would have taken over as the New Hope. The finished hollow screen version of this tale removed the Elder Skywalker and his mention of Luke's sister. The only remaining hints of this was a cryptic message from the traitor of the Old Republic, Jedi Master Yoda. That boy is our last hope. No. There is another. Another what? Another last hope? In what form was this hope? Luke's long lost sister was still a strong candidate. At this point, she was not necessarily Princess Leia or Gala, but a new unknown person. Why wasn't Kenobi aware of her during this moment? Was he not present during their birth and decision to separate and hide the two of them? Hidden, safe, the children must be kept. We must take them somewhere where the Sith will not sense their presence. Mm. Split up, they should be. Maybe he simply forgot about her and needed Yoda to remind him. During story meetings for the next series of events known to us as the Return of the Jedi, it was suggested that Luke should die and that his long lost sister would take up the cause. Or, Luke would take Vader's helmet and claim ownership of the galaxy. Both suggestions was seen as being too dark for this pop culture juggernaut with an incredibly large following of children. At the time, the Skywalker trilogy was going on long enough. It would be concluded here, and that other hope that Yoda told Kenobi about, it would be revealed now, and not in a fourth later tale of Skywalker. This long-lost sister ended up being assigned to Princess Leia. Originally, she and Luke were never related. Original drafts for the events later dubbed as A New Hope described the princess as a beautiful young girl about 16 years old. Luke Skywalker is introduced as Owen's nephew, described as looking younger than his 20 years. Luke talks to his uncle about transmitting his application to the Academy this year. And if these new droids do work out, I want to transmit my application to the Academy this year. You mean the next semester before the harvest? Sure, there's more than enough droids. Harvest is when I need you the most. You can go to the Academy next year. You must understand, I need you. But it's a whole other year. Look, it's only one more season. Yeah, that's what she said when Biggs and Tank left. Where are you going? Looks like I'm going nowhere. Owen asked him to delay it for another year. His friends seem to have all gone out on their own, but Luke is still here on his uncle's farm going nowhere. This all supports the fact that Luke is closer to 20 years age than he is 16. Leah's age isn't disclosed on the big hollow screen, but she dresses in white color associated with innocence, purity, and virginal youth. Both are young, 
but the dialogue doesn't directly suggest that they are the same age. Han Solo in the same drafts is said to be about 25, later updated to about 30, which makes its interest in the possibly 16-year-old princess rather disturbing. It is important to note that the ages in these drafts is never divulged on the big screen, and what is shown on it becomes canon over any previously written text. If Leah is Luke's sister, we too would expect her to be strong in the Force. When Luke is hanging from the bottom of Cloud City, he uses this Force to call out to Leah, despite her being on the Millennium Falcon halfway gone at this point. <laughs> Did she hear him because their connection to the Force as siblings, or perhaps the Force is magnified by powerful emotions? Luke has strong romantic feelings for her. I might never get the chance. What? Tell me. She didn't show strength in the Force before this event. Darth Vader, a strong Force user and supposedly father of them both, he detected Obi-Wan Kenobi on the Death Star. He is here. Obi-Wan Kenobi? What makes you think so? A tremor in the Force. He felt the strength in Skywalker during the Death Star Trench run. The Force is strong in this one. Yet, he didn't detect the Force while interrogating her. Her resistance to the mind probe is considerable. It will be some time before we can extract any information from her. He notes that Leah is good at resisting the mind probe. She either has a lot of willpower, or was subconsciously using the Force. If Vader was doing the interrogation, would he have not recognized the Force and who she really was, unless she wasn't his daughter at all, at least at this point in time. The remaining events introduce the possibility of a love triangle involving Princess Leia Organa, Luke Skywalker, and Han Solo. So, what do you think of her, Han? Try not to kid. Good. Still, still a lot of spirit. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think a princess and a guy like me? No. During the events of the Return of the Jedi, all matters of the Skywalker's trilogy needed to be wrapped up, making Leia that long lost sister of Luke not only explain who the other that Yoda revealed to Obi Wan. It also provides one last twist to Skywalker's tale. Vader was revealed to be Luke's father. How do you top that? We reveal another secret relative. Being a sister also allows a quick conclusion to any possible love triangle. First, both Han and Luke were smitten by Leah. She falls for Han, while Luke is off training with Yoda to become a Jedi. Skywalker still has feelings for her that could have been explored during the Return of the Jedi. It would have made for a good form of temptation for the Emperor to use to lure Skywalker to the dark side. With that dark side, he could be with Leia. All that becomes mute when you have to make them brother and sister. No more love triangle to worry about. Although how Luke revealed this to Leah did create another problem. Where's the strong in my family? Father had it. I had it. My 
sister. For someone who somehow always known that Luke was her brother, she had an interesting way of acting on that knowledge. I know. Somehow. I've always known. Use the force. You're just so beautiful, Leia. Oh. Mm. Oh! Oh no, somebody's here. Oh, R2 and 3PO. What is it? Oh, Princess Leia, your genetic test has arrived. They have? What are you waiting for? Come in. And have R2 recording it. We're going to do it right here on Hollow Recorder. Are you sure? Last time we tried recording it, you said Archie's whistling was too distracting. Luke, they're here for my genetic testing results for that sponsorship. Oh, that. I took one last year. It tells you if you've got any long lost relatives. I didn't find any of my relatives. Yeah, whatever. Let's see those results. You heard her, Artu. Hand the princess the results. Is Archie recording and broadcasting this to the marketing firm? <laughs> Most assuredly so. You may proceed when ready. This is going to be a most profitable new sponsorship. Hi, it's me, Princess Leia of the Imperial Senate, representing the good people of Alderaan. I'm here today to tell you about an exciting product from my new sponsor, Camino Labs, makers of the most accurate home genetic testing kit to date. I just got my results, and we're going to learn them together. 